Do you know what you're talking about? No. Well, you can literally introduce and say, why my car? I, I literally would say, why my car's being protected downstairs is an easy, easy yeah. way. You should literally say, look, you know, welcome back to the KDS Lair. We are uh, sub, okay. sub level two See? now. You do it. Uh, we're sub, sub level two. Um, the car is up two levels from us, and then uh, <laughs> we're just going to pop upstairs. <laughs> KDS Bike Cave. <laughs> We've got it. so many outtakes available from us. There's probably even more outtakes being made right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> <I saw> all. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of time the cover is not being rolling. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about some Lake Country products. We've got the UDOS machine, some pads, and a few other bits and bobs. We've got Kelly Harris here. You guys may know him of KDS, but he's now moved over to Lake Country. I've also got John Howell as well, one of the other members of Detailing Space, and also runs Clean and Shiny. So hopefully between these two guys, you guys can learn a lot more about what we've got on the table and on display here. So I'll let you go first, Kelly. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. So John, uh, John. Should we say that all the hard work we did yesterday on a car that you've got in here at the moment, that there'll be another video on that? Yeah, so if you go back a couple of weeks, yeah. we've got it down. So Ash is just finishing it off now as a recording, but... So let's just say to started. the camera, yeah, Monday, John helped us. Three day process, this was the last day. John, you had to go back to your shop. We had most very important meetings to do. Meetings. What we really think is it was the hard part. The, the I had customers hard. to deal with. Okay. Looking at getting their products out to them. That. You've come back for the last bit, coffee and food again. There's, there, I can't see what who's you're talking about, way? coffee. But anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, that's the, who's the clever guy? <laughs> clearly, clearly. So, <laughs> so what we got here now, I was talking to Matt earlier about the product range and, and it's a bit tricky because I technically work for two different brands. Owned by the same ownership. Yep. So that's been quite a laughing talk for the last few days of confusion because some people think it's one company, some people it's two. And ultimately there's, there's two divisions. We call it sort of brother and sister of Lake Country. So this is actually LC Power Tools. So this is the division that's going to concentrate on power tools, possibly compounds, possibly sanding media, mm -hmm. sort of sandpaper in the future. Can't give too much away yet. And they've got a, a very different ethos to the sister company, Lake Country Manufacturing, which we'll touch on in another video. Yeah. So their ethos here is they're going to bring out very unusual, unorthodox machine power tools so that there's less pads needed. So that's why we've only got three pads there. And that the power tool has an adjustability to be more than one machine. In actual fact, it's called the UDOS 5-in-1. Yep. E for electric, 5-in-1 for five modes. So you've got five mo modes in one machine. First machine on the market to be like, you've had a go with one of these. Um, yeah, about six months ago, used it on the Range Rover SBR detail and a couple of other details. So yeah, I have used this on a few cars, so now, quite unique. You didn't use all the modes, did you, I think? Uh, rotary and then P1 and 3, so, I think. So I didn't use the sanding mode no. or the 2. So you've used 12 mil and 21. Yeah. That's what the modes are. So one of the things going forward with new machinery is the P number or position is mm -hmm. going to change to a, an actual physical size. Because a lot of people, one of the feedback was, kept saying to me when I was showing them, what's P1? Oh, yeah. And you're like, yeah. right, that's that size. And what's P1? And you're like, oh, I have to keep repeating this. So, so I've come on board way after this machine's been made and developed. So it's already really close to production when I started working for Lake Country. So I have been involved with feedback, updates, and potentially, can't give too much weight, new machine tools for the future. So those new machine tools will have some of my input, and not just mine, but some of my staff that work with me, input, feedback, and even, John, I think you come here last year to have did, a yeah. day a demo yep, day yep. there were six other people here or five with you yep. and it was like feedback really comments of which handle because it does have different size yep. handles so which handle the ergonomics and basically tweaked it none of you have seen this yet but there is some quite large updates happening or a change in the machine from that feedback essentially that machine's not changing mm -hmm. there'll be a completely different machine maybe different modes so i can't give too much away at the moment that'll be coming out maybe a year maybe longer it depends but i know in the future we've got more power tools coming so what's the idea behind it if you've got 
the different modes. You've got rotary and free dual action or random auto modes. You've got different size cutting action. I'm sure John would be the person who asked this. As you're more old school than what Matt is in how long ago, and you would have sold probably eight mil small hobbyist yep. DA machines. Did you even sell ones that you had to buy a transformer for, or was that? Yeah, Matt's porter cables. Yeah, you, from so the you States. did. So yeah. you did. Okay. Yeah, well, I didn't sell them. I bought them, bought them okay. in. Okay. So it was importing, literally. The only yeah. way you could buy a polisher was the old sort of porter cables where the transformer, because it's 110 volts. Yeah, that's right. So all of the machines were 8 mil orbit, weren't they? There was all 8 mil. So that gives you a certain size cutting action. It's a movement. And then later on, which machines you sell now, and you've had a go on your car with some 15 mil orbit oh, yeah, machines. Yeah. yeah. So And actually the flex machine as well. Yeah, flex, yeah. So they have a 15 mil orbit. And we all pretty much should know, and hopefully the audience has understood that now. Maybe yeah. some don't that years ago we had to struggle with either a rotary only and or an eight mil orbit yep. machine. There was no long throw or large throw or big orbit machine, which how many small orbit machines would you sell now? Uh, Compared to large orbit. Yeah, we sell more larger yeah. orbit machines than smaller yeah. orbit for sure. So the gap between rotary and, an, and small orbit is being closed massively by larger <coughs> orbit machines. Yeah. So that's become the popular thing. So we've got a machine that does all the orbits. Now, hopefully, you would, and I've had this discussion with John Lotz, that if you've got completely different size orbits, so different cutting options, basically one of these pads, doesn't know which one we pick up, I can make that more aggressive or less aggressive with the same compound by adjusting what mode. So is that a hobbyist machine or is it a professional machine? Really, I actually call that as a professional machine. Yeah. Regardless of the cost, availability. It's a bit tricky to sell, and I'm sure you found this, to a hobbyist yeah. because they wouldn't know. And you've had a go and you're not probably, I think I remember, I think me watched your video with this and I'm not screaming at the screen. It was like, no, no, Matt, you, that's not the mode I choose for that pad and compound. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's an interesting thing because I'm almost saying it's complicated. But is free pads less complicated than you see some detailers post up a picture of they use 20 different pads, yeah. five, 10 different compounds? I'm sure, John, as you as a shop owner, you must get that question all the time. What pad or what yeah, compound absolutely. for we, this car? We hear that a lot. You yeah. must do. Yeah, we do. We get, we get, I've got a... I've got a Japanese car, I've got a German car, I've heard a Mercedes a hard clear coat. Do I, shall I have this pad, shall I have that pad? Which compound? We get that all the time. So I, I think the slight hiccup with this, and I joked and we've actually, my feedback back to my own bosses now, is this is like a McLaren. When McLaren come out, they were so far advanced in a technology that it was almost people weren't ready for them and they've taken a long time to become successful because yeah. they didn't reinvent a car, but the way they do things, the way they perform is very different and it's a different way. So if I was given that machine to teach with someone and then they brought tons of different cars in and we essentially chose the middle cut pad, this pad, with a sort of a middle to light cut, I've got the chance on most paint to be able to adjust the modes on there as a test mm -hmm. and change its cutting ability. Whereas at the moment, as a tradition, we feel like we must buy loads of pads and we must, must buy loads of compounds. Mm -hmm. And then you're switching out compounds. I'm sure you do this. I've not watched all of your videos, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> like you haven't watched all mine. I'm sure there's videos where you're almost testing a product or a pad to see how successful it is on that car. Yeah, and to suit the machine you've got, yeah. And yeah. so there's, there's actually less variables here, but you've got more adjustability. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's just very alien for us to use it and go, well, that's not worked. It hasn't gave us the results. And automatically, you want to rip the pad off instead of, I'll do it with this one, turning the collar. Instead yeah. of adjusting, moving this mm -hmm. and turning your collar around to a different cutting action. Because that's so alien, I think it would actually be easier at the moment, because it's almost a habit, for someone to have two machines, when that machine's too aggressive, they pick another machine up, not yeah. thinking, well, I have got five in one. So I think it's a, a very specialist niche machine, which is what you found, isn't it? Yep. Because it, it literally is, or you can name drop Clive Ford, that loves the machine. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. loves it. It's told me. It's got two. 
Has he? Yeah. He's got two. So he, he loves the machine. <laughs> now, he's a long-term detail. One of my first pupils, like nine, ten years ago, and he was detailing for a lot longer before then. So he's got 10, 15 years worth of experience. And he, let's say he's a more brave person, willing to try things and learn. And, to, and not, risks is the wrong way. He's a confident, good guy. So he gets the modes, he understands, because he's had so many years of background of polishing with different size orbits and rotary, like I have, yeah. I would al almost know what mode to put it on for the, the severity of the defects. Yeah. So I think it's, for me, my role is it needs a bit more education of what, when and why, mm -hmm. because would you know which mode if you walked up to a car? Honestly, I'd probably just go for whatever mode I fancied on that day <laughs> as a hobbyist. And now, do you know what the thing I is? I using a 15 mil today. And I, do you know? I think that's the thing. Most people would aim for the 15 yeah. mil. So you stick with the, what you know. Yeah. So making people change and go out of their habit. And, and it's an interesting thing, because if I go from P1 to P2, the difference in the orbit size is very small, mm. but it'll make a small difference, and it might be enough for what I want which is no different to taking a pad off and going up either a grading pad or down or compound. Yeah. But they're happy to do that because they've been doing that for a long yeah. time. Yeah. So the ethos, I totally get. The, un the idea of this and the concept behind it and the, the on paper, amazing, because it's simplified. You could essentially use one compound, mm -hmm. do really, really heavy cut, medium cut and finishing, with a combination of you'd step down the pads and the mode, yeah. you can have a finishing pad on a, on a sort of a 12 mil orbit or even the sanding mode, if you want to go really gentle, the eight mm. mil mode, then you could have the micro wall on a 21 and you're going to get really heavy cut yeah. or rotary. So this micro wall, hopefully anyone would realize if you had a very long fiber wall pad, very long wall pads, the sort of sheepskin wall, when you're in an orbit mode, all really happens is the fibers all flop yes, around. Yeah, yeah. So walls traditionally great in rotary mode because it all flops one way and then rotates and it cuts. Yeah. So this wall pad has got this short pile so that it will work in all orbits yeah. and rotary. So that's a quite a unique pad again to this machine. Not that you couldn't use this pad on another machine, no. obviously. So that's why we've gone for a very short wall pad there so it can work in all the modes. Again, it's probably slightly unusual to see in most pads. I mean, you're the one that sells lots of ranges of pads, and you probably don't see many brands that make a pad like that. No. And it's uh, so it, I think the, what we've got here, it's, it's just so alien, so different, that it's going to take a while to get you on. Like you say, you've got customers that absolutely think it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. But it, it's not selling in huge numbers because it, I think we're not ready for it. It's just so new, isn't it? Yeah. I, uh, I showed someone this morning. And they were blown away by it. And yep. they, they're just, they're going to come back and buy one. Yeah. So we got different handles, which you have to optional extra to buy. They don't come in the kit because I made a mistake when they was literally prototypes. Years ago, I made a video and we weren't sure, I think at the time, I say we, Lake Country, if we're going to, they're going to come in the box or not, or is an optional. And, and it was once I said, you got, you got three handles. And then someone, I think, messaged you, went, oh, where's my other handles? <laughs> not realised I made a slip of the tongue. Yeah. So we have different handles, which is a great idea. And you can buy a different handle. It would normally come with the medium-sized handle. There's a small handle, which is more typical to like a Rupes machine. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the, a medium-sized handle. And this is interesting as well, because up until now, you never had a choice. I know my preference, and it's interesting, in demo days we've had, I think we've talked, well not talked, we've had 12 people in, six at a time, just having a, a feel machine and feedback. And people like different handles. Yeah. I think once you give someone an option, they've all got their preference. So that's an option, extra. it's quite a nice thing that we've got these different size handles. Um, that brings me on to, right, neatly, that... Is that the first time? Because they're quite new. That you've seen one of those. First packs? time I've seen one of those. Yeah, yeah. that's the second time I've seen that. So, obviously, you can see what we're doing as LC Power Tools. We're going to make pads, machine tools, and then the backpack, which has got pockets and bit, bits and pieces inside to be able to hold the machine tool at the back. It's mm -hmm. got it's got a no innuendo a hard bottom, 
It's got a nice hard bottom. Do you want to show you the hard bottom, John, on the bottom? It's got a machine polisher in there. That feels heavy for a back. <laughs> yeah, no, it's got a pot, or whatever it's got. So you've got the nice hard bottom in there. I, I actually don't know what it's got in there um, at the moment. Ooh, it's got some lining. very nice, <laughs> very <laughs> nice lining. I'll some extra out of that. Have a look. It's a secret to me. I can't remember what's in there. You've got your marmalade sandwiches in there. Uh, peanut butter. Oh, look, we've got Come more... Uh, okay, yeah. Yep. More of this. Destroy the... your compounds, though, yeah, I imagine. That's it. Yeah. A lot of brushes and, then there's a, and there's a something little, up there. That's pocket, where your sandwich is there. Sandwich and, pocket. And, and remember is the the brand LC Power Tools is a very, very new brand. Yeah. You know, this is their first machine, first backpack. This one comes with a free polisher. <laughs> <laughs> so that has got the Udos in there. This yep. does have an Udos in yep. it. Yep, yep. So there's an Udos yep. in there. And bits to hold it down. Yeah. And a hard bottom. Yeah, you like the Some hard bottom. Some more pockets. <clears throat> Pocket up here, zip top. <laughs> Plenty of pockets. There's a, yep. another, another pocket here. Nothing in there. No, no one's left any money in there. No, no one's left. No. No. No, You're no still going to look, aren't you? There's, there's, <laughs> no, there's, no, yeah, Chris, no, there's no, no early Christmas present for you. Well, I thought this was the early Christmas present. Oh, it, that and the Udos inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so. Anyway. So we also have the backpack. Now that again is a, is a very new thing, is a, a new item. So uh, without giving too much away, LC Power Tools are putting quite a lot of effort into new items coming on the market, machine tools, backpacks. We may or may not have compound, we may or not may not have sandpaper. I can't say too much at the moment. Obviously I'm testing certain yep. products at the moment. So the idea is you've got like a, a one-stop shop brand. Now, this was also aimed at the body shop market. That's why it's got the sanding yeah. mode and the rotary mode. And a little bit of a plug, we're a midway through, three quarters of the way through, recording a video of me completely sanding and polishing a panel that we sprayed to remove orange peel with the machine. All the doings done, I've just got to record an ending and sort of summary. So there will be a video out on Lake Country's channel, LCPT's channel, of that Udos being in action and what sanding paper I use and what mode basically and polishing it back now. I don't know how long that video is going to be. It'd be awkward to ask Jay, the cameraman that's holding the camera. Do, do, do you have any idea how long it is? Uh, probably about 20 minutes by the time it's finished. So 20 minutes roughly because Jay's edited most of it now and I think yeah. it, we're at the stage of making the ending. So there will be a geeky video of just a doing of, of really that, okay. of that machine there. But um, any questions, any other? I think you've pretty much answered everything for me and hopefully the audience. Um, yeah. and, John got anything? And, oh, where can you buy them John, from? <laughs> they, 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 I was going to say they fit perfectly on a poker trolley, don't they? They fit the, on the trolleys that you sell. Yeah. The, the, who make, you know, the poker legs. Premium. On, on the, the legs. Yeah, the, the updated legs, the... legs. You don't know this, by the way. I'm not being kinky rubbing the <laughs> legs. <laughs> it's not me being really worried. The, well, I guess you've got that uh, I've, I've suggested to John on the early poker premiums to update and change things. You sent it to poker premium. And the rest poker, is history. Yeah, poker have acted on it. And uh, poker we've got premium. Some, we've got some great, great additions to that trolley. altered the size of the racking so that it's modular on the actual trolleys as well as the right. wall. Okay. What I will say is uh, when I saw your polishing trolley and your washing trolley, I've gone back and said we need to build another trolley because a washing trolley with everything you need. Mm. If you're a detailer who's detailing every day, it's, it's great because you're not going, oh, where's this or where's that? You can top it up. Yeah. And from a polish, polishing perspective, it's like you've got, I think you've got pad holders inside one of them and you've yep. got pads on there and all that sort of thing. So uh, you currently have in stock the Udo pads we do. and the Udos, yeah? We've and got one other thing to talk about. Sorry to interrupt. Go on. Pad washer. That's not for here. That's for another video. <laughs> that's for another video, guys. I just spotted that over your shoulder. That's, oh, that's, that's the that. other sister company. <laughs> nice <and laughs> I'll explain why later. What There's I'm a doing. very good reason yeah. why. <laughs> what, I, what I will say is that at the moment, if you were to order one of those polishers from us, those handles come with it. Do they? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you do time? Or? It will be. Well, till they run out. Uh, so yeah. the, the current batch of polishers okay. I've got have run out. Right. I'm, I'm actually throwing those in. So, so, the box. so at the moment you get both of these. You get both well, of those. That's the one. Yep. You that's the one yeah, like that one there. The one, yep. So yeah, you've not one used there. the small. You wouldn't have. Because that's not. I think so. No, I think I've, I've, my opinion 
It transforms the machine for me, just because if you know now I tip when I yeah, polish, yeah. to be able to do that rotating and that's a more comfortable, I'll put my palm there and let it rotate when it's on a panel yeah. and I can tip. I, my preference is the small, but some people like that handle, and some people yeah. like that. So of course you go with a middle size handle because it, one size, if one it's size fits all, it's yeah. gonna be that. But yeah, so you have the, the choice. So I didn't know that you're actually- Yeah, no, we're- so you, You've got we're the handles, okay. So you can get them from cleanandshiny.co.uk. Cleanandshiny .co.uk, is it? Yeah. Winner. So thanks very much to John from Clean and Shiny for joining us, Kelly for explaining this, and Lake Country for making this all happen. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do subscribe as well. We've got another video talking solely just about the pads. Make sure you check that out, and we'll see you in the next one.